Hi, my name is Laura Emin. And I'm John Eric Pena, and we are second year students at Northwestern University's Physical Therapy Program. Today we're going to be showing you the Lachman's test, a special test to check the integrity of the ACL. Indications for the Lachman test include a recent history of knee instability, knee injury, or suspected ACL involvement. Contraindications include any recent knee surgery, any pain with the test, or any swelling, muscle guarding, or limited knee flexion that's present. With ACL compromised, the knee may not have sufficient stability to carry out normal daily activities. It's therefore important to determine ACL integrity quickly after a suspected injury and proceed as needed. The Lachman's test involves anteriorly translating the tibia on a stabilized femur, a motion that makes the ACL taut. The test is performed in open pack in order to decrease the influence of potential muscle guarding. The anterior cruciate ligament is one of the most important structures for knee stability. It reaches from the posterior and medial aspect of the lateral epicondyle of the femur to the anterior and lateral aspect of the medial tibial plateau. The ACL has been shown to absorb nearly 90% of anterior tibial translation on the femur, and it also limits internal rotation of the tibia. ACL can be injured through many mechanisms. In open kinematic chain, you can have an excessive anterior translation of the tibia on the femur. You can have a rapid acceleration or deceleration of the tibia on the femur due to a strong quad contraction, uh, overpowering weak hamstrings. You can also have injury to the ACL in close kinematic chain. Uh, an anterior force directed on the femur with the fixed tibia excessive internal rotation of the femur with the fixed tibia, and excessive hyperextension of the knee. During dynamic activities, such as jumping, landing with an internally rotated femur, and having valgus at the knee can also cause injury to the ACL. The Lachman's test is a very easy test to administer. The therapist gets as close to the affected knee as possible and places it in 20 to 30 degrees of knee flexion to place into open pack position. One hand is placed on the distal and anterior aspect of the femur and the other on the, on the proximal and posterior aspect of the tibia. The thumb can be used to feel for anterior joint line excursion and, and feel during the, and at the end of the exam. The test consists of a quick and forceful pull of the tibia anteriorly on the femur. A positive test would be indicated by a soft end feel and increased tibial excursion with the anterior translation. A false negative test may result if swelling or muscle guarding is present. Hello, Laura. My name is John Eric Penny. I'm going to be your physical therapist today. Um, what I'm going to do is a special test on your knee to check the strength of one of the ligaments inside of it, okay? Um, what the test consists of is I'm going to stabilize your leg here and then pull the bottom part of your leg towards myself, okay? What that's going to do is check how much motion I get there and the integrity of that ligament, okay? As I move your knee, uh, you should feel a little bit of a pull uh, in between these bones right around here. Um, and I'm just looking to see how much motion I get. Okay. 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 